please do what all it takes to bring Queen Naomi back. Queen Naomi is losing her mind. All through the time I was with her, she sobs, she cries, she hardly eats. She is really, really losing her mind because of the betrayer and hurt you have caused her. They say, Dr. Lizzie, cry, kneeling down, begging on your fife to take action over whatever be the request that Queen Naomi has made. My people, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Live Gist Plus. I am here again with another hot and obogilicious story from the Palace of Kabiesi. Now you need to subscribe to this channel because hmm, if you subscribe, you will be getting our updates. Press the notification bell. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. My people, this is so simple. It is as simple as ABC. We have come to realize and on our own conclude that KBAC has no emotions towards Queen Naomi. Because all he cares about is Queen Naomi's son, Queen Naomi's grace, Queen Naomi's body, Queen Naomi's comportment. Dr. Lizzie, we heard the other time, ran out of the palace to go and stay with Queen Naomi because she couldn't even stay in that palace. Imagine when the person, they are not, they are not after Dr. Lizzie, but she cannot stay there. Not to talk more of the person that they are envying and targeting, Queen Naomi. How do KBAC want Queen Naomi to stay in that palace? She has said it before in an Instagram post two years ago or three. How do you expect me to be in the midst of six powerful women? She knows that these women are powerful. And mind you, by then, she never stayed with them. She has not had an encounter with them. She just seen them as in that they have not really had stayed. And she made that statement, not to talk more of now. She already saw it in their faces that these women are not the people anyone can stay with. And that is why she told KBAC, if you want me to return back to that palace, these women must leave the palace. Yes, and KBAC accepted. Dr. Lizzie keeps reminding KBAC, Your Royal Highness, I'm not trying to side anyone here, but you are definitely wrong. You didn't keep to your promise. Not that you didn't keep to your not only that you didn't keep to your promise, you were still accepting children of which you know how come it take be. They said Dr. Lizzie told KBAC, if every if all Queen Naomi wants is for you to set this woman out of the palace and bring her back, please do it because these women the one where me self I they see with my eye for inside palace where me and them they they know be better people they know be human being they are not the kind of people that you go say make we know me can't stay with with Sadenikawo inside the same compound that it is not possible that he tried to explain to KBAC the reason why we know me said I don't want to stay with these people inside the palace is because of Sadenikawo Taden needs to be safe we know me's eye must not be on him all the time. He's still a toddler. He can toddle and toddle and toddle into somebody's apartment. And what if the persons harm him? Tade needs to be saved and secured. And a lot of times, if a priest has been selling KBAC, you need to do anything within your power. They have told KBAC, they have told Queen Naomi, you need to do anything within your power to see and ensure that Tade is safe. Dr. Lizzie kept reminding KBAC, remember the vow. Remember the oath you took, oh, mind your throne. Your throne is, is in fact, is not safe as at, as at the time she was talking to KBAC. You promised KBAC that, you promised Queen Naomi that you were not going to misbehave. That was a promise you made to her. Why are you breaking promises? Remember your throne. If you really love yourself, KBAC, please adhere to the demands of Queen Naomi. Set these women free. Now, when you say these women, that she can help KBAC to convince Queen Naomi to come back. At least Queen Naomi would have seen that, okay, KBAC at least has kept to one of his promises by letting these women go. And Queen Naomi, Dr. Lizzie now said, if KBAC can only do that, 
that she will be able to convince Queen Naomi to come and Queen Naomi will come back as soon as possible. That she has stayed with Queen Naomi even all this why that she, she went out of the palace, that she was with Queen Naomi and she knew everything that Queen Naomi opened up to her, everything that is her worry and problem. So it's not as if Queen Naomi might not forgive Kabiesi. That Queen Naomi might, not that she will from her words you that you know when someone is talking and you would easily detect from the word if truly uh, she can still go back to that same marriage if there is a problem then through see through her speech you will know whether ah this one she can never she can never no matter what that is what dr lizzie nailed down to beg kbc kbc you please Listen to Dr. Lizzie, your wife. Dr. Lizzie can never deceive you. Dr. Lizzie loves you, loves Queen Naomi, and wants you together. That she wouldn't even mind to leave if what will make Queen Naomi happy is for her to leave. As she has already said before, that she is not here. That is not a must. She must marry Kabiesi or continue to be in the palace. That if Kabiesi serves her divorce, that fine. It's fine by her. That Kabi is all matters is what makes Kabi is happy, and she cannot force herself on someone. You see, so knowing fully well that uh, Dr. Lizzie has a pure mind towards Queen Naomi, all whatever she's saying to Kabi is, is true and confirmed. Now, to you, my audience, do you think the things Dr. Lizzie is telling Kabi is, is the real thing? You know, that Kabi is should set this woman free and let her convince Queen Naomi. I'm not gonna lie, this story really touched me. When I heard this, when I, I, got, I got the gist, I got the news, I was so devastated. I'm imagining how Queen Naomi would be feeling right now. As Dr. Lizzie is even shedding tears on her behalf, she said, if you see Queen Naomi, in fact, her soul almost left her body, that she's thinking a lot of things on her head. You know, when someone has betrayed you, and you come back, you forgive the person, the person betrays you again. You can imagine how painful that could be. That that is the state of Queen Naomi. And they said, Dr. Lizzie said, Queen Naomi was complaining that the, the most, the one that bust her pololo, the one that pained her so much, was agreeing out of love and selflessness to go and take that oath with KBAC. That if she hadn't taken that oath, maybe by now, Kabi Esin will go ever, ever see him again. Do you think at this point that Queen Naomi can be convinced to come back? Do you think that Queen, uh, Dr. Lizzie can, can be able to convince Queen Naomi to return back to the palace? Or do you think that no matter what Dr. Lizzie does, no matter what she did, that Queen Naomi will never return? Well, I'll be waiting for your comments on the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up, like and share. Do not forget that all these are alleged. Stay on the line. I'll bring you more updates. Thank you.